Hey guys, welcome back to Janine's Gluten-Free Kitchen where we do everyday gluten-free. Today we're gonna to be doing a delicious lemon tart that's super tangy, creamy, and the base made of delicious pecans and almonds and it's so good you'll, oh my God, you will not stop making it, let me tell you. Stay tuned for the recipe. Alright guys, let's get started on this lemon tart. We have one tart tin that I have pre-oiled and I've also cut a nice bit of baking paper for the base of it so it comes away from the tin very easily. There is nothing worse than when you've got a soft, fragile tart of not being able to get it out of your tin. So let's have that ready. Got our food processor, which is super important for this recipe. We have our beautiful ingredients. For the base, we have almond meal, three quarters of a cup, and three quarters of a cup of pecans. Super fresh and sweet. When you go shopping, make sure that you shop for fresh nuts, fresh ingredients, because the final taste will be hugely different based on the ingredients you buy. Nuts go rancid very, very quickly, so they should be stored in the fridge if you're not gonna eat them or use them quickly. But also you wanna source them from somebody who sells them, sells high quantities, so you know what you're buying hasn't been sitting on the shelf for ages. The nuts should always be sweet and oily, never bitter. The minute they get bitter, you know they're rancid. Okay, let's pop those in our food processor. We have one egg that we're gonna pop in there as well. Some vanilla paste, and we're gonna put in about a teaspoon. And then finally, we need to put in some fat. If you're not dairy free, you can put in butter, but I'm using a uh, dairy-free margarine spread. In Australia, we have Nutalex, but I suspect you'd have your own brand that you like to use. I don't recommend margarine, just because health-wise, it's not as good for you as these unhydrogenated uh, margarines. So, I've got a very, it's a very big spoon. It's about equivalent to, say, a quarter or a bit less a cup. And then we're just gonna whiz it and wait for it to come together. Let's uh, bring that down so we can catch everything. That's done. Now you will have noticed that I didn't put the pecans in first and grind them. That's because my machine is very strong. If you don't have a very strong processor, I highly recommend that you do the nuts first, get them into a meal, and then put all your wet ingredients. So this is quite, it's not a dough. It's, it's more pasty than that. It's almost like a hard batter. Okay, and so just make sure you just very gently bring it up the sides. And you don't want to create any holes in the base. Just pretty up the edges too. Make them nice and flat, so it's nice and neat. Mm. 
there we have the base. Now like any other dough base, we're going to blind bake it first so that it's pre-cooked because our we're pouring a, a pre-cooked custard into this. So we need to have the base pre-cooked and cool down before we then put our lemon curd into it. Now, pricking it with a fork just prevents it from um, getting air into it and blowing up. But don't worry, you're not gonna end up with holes in it because as it cooks, all the uh, oil and the material just goes back in, but it just stops it from blowing up. So we're gonna bake that. We've got our oven preset for 175 degrees and we're gonna pop that in for 15 minutes. Okay, that's done. Pre-baked and ready to go for it. We're just gonna let that cool down. Let's get started on the lemon curd custard. We have one small saucepan. We have some lemon juice, some eggs, some maple syrup and some vanilla paste. And again, with vanilla, you can use whatever form you wish, but you don't want to put too much in this. You only want a little bit just to help cut the egginess of the custard. And I also have coconut oil as my fat to go in right at the end. Again, you don't have to use coconut oil. You could actually use butter, or if you want to keep it dairy free, use a non-dairy margarine. Like that, Alex. And finally, I've got some agar agar. Now, eggs are what makes a custard go thick, but because we're making a uh, tart, you want the custard to be um, a little bit firmer than just uh, a pouring custard, which is what you're gonna get without the agar agar. So I'm just gonna put in a half a teaspoon of that. So I'm gonna put all the ingredients into the saucepan, give it a little bit of a mix with the bar mix to make the custard smooth, and then we're gonna cook it. And finally, some maple syrup. I have a third of a cup. Now you can use coconut sugar. You can also use something like xylitol if you want to keep it sugar free. But frankly, nothing tastes better than maple syrup. A whisk, which we're gonna use for stirring over the heat. But for now, we're just going to give it a bit of a whiz on the bar mix because if I don't do this, I'll often get that curdling effect from the egg white because it's not quite mixed in as well. So, And basically, you want to mix it until there is no more little flecks of the yolk or the egg white. Let's go and cook it now. So if you've never cooked custard on the stove top before, what you need to know is that custard is a little bit slower to begin with as it heats up, but you still have to stir it because it's very easy to catch at the bottom of the pan from, the, from that direct heat and it might take a minute or two before it starts to thicken, but then it's like really thick, really quickly. So you cannot leave your custard on the stove and wait for it to heat up and then come back and stir it. No, no, no. I guarantee you, you will burn it that way or you will end up with very horrible, lumpy curd. So you can see from the bar mix, we've got a lot of bubbles. The great thing is that that actually becomes something that I can tell it's coming together when the frothy bubbles start to disappear. You can see the, the lemon curd underneath. And as you stir, make sure that you go right into the edges so that you're giving all of the surface a good stir.
So it's been about two minutes now. I can just start to feel on the bottom of the pan, it's starting to get a little thicker. And you can even see as I lift that it's starting to catch some of the custard. So I know at this point it's going to come together fairly quickly. Okay, here it goes. See how the bubbles are disappearing? Because it's being incorporated into the uh, lemon curd custard. Now you don't want to bring it to the boil. It's very, very close. It's just starting to simmer. Keep stirring it. So I've turned it off now and that is ready to pour into the tart. You can see it's quite thick, but not, but it's still pouring consistency. And what will happen is as it cools down, that'll solidify and make it, um, the custard tart will go firm, like quite firm. So let's go do that into our case. Okay, final step before we pour it into the flan case is we've got our coconut oil that we're going to pour in. And that will make it super smooth and glossy as it sets. Great. Here we go. One lemon curd tart. And this will, first of all, you'll need to let it um, cool down because the custard's still very hot. So we're gonna let that cool down just to true room temperature. And then we'll put it in the fridge and leave it for about an hour to set at least, and then come back and slice it open and try it. Ah, oh, look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Popped out nice and easily, which is a good sign that we greased it very well. Now we just need to take the base off, which is always a little tricky with these things. And voila. There we go. So you can see it's kept its shape really well. I want to put this onto here. Get rid of the board. Now let's slice it open and see what it looks like inside. that and you can see I don't know if you can see this but the uh, lemon curd custard is still very creamy but it's just perfectly set to hold but not be jelly-ish oh that is so good the lemon is quite um, it's, it's got a lot of lemon and so it's really zingy that would be perfect on its own or uh, even pretty more amazing with some cashew cream or some coconut ice cream, vanilla coconut ice cream. That would be amazing. So there you go. There's one lemon citrus curd tart. Looking forward to getting into that later on. Yummo. Subscribe, hit the bell. Please leave a comment and like the video if you enjoyed this today. I'm looking forward to bringing you many more recipes. Have a great day, guys. See ya. <laughs> Have a slice of this, there we go, I'm ready to go. I've got the giggles.